okay dear students so let us uh, read this question and see what is there x and y are two objects on a frictionless table connected by a string the mass x is 2 kg and mass y is 4 kg the mass of the string is negligible a constant horizontal force of 12 newton acts on y okay what are the accelerations of uh, y and the magnitude of tension in the string very well so first of all they are asking about the acceleration of y so the point to be noted here is that mass x and mass y they are tied together with a string so if y is moving with certain acceleration let us say a definitely the x is also moving with the same acceleration because they are tied with a string so both of the masses are connected with each other and both of the masses will be moving together so the total mass will be 6 kgs so this 12 newton is the total force which is giving motion to the total mass of 6 kg so how to find the accelerations here simple there is a simple formula f is equal to m into a so i can always say what is the total force 12 newton what is the total mass that is in the motion because of the force 12 newton and that is 6 kgs and this is acceleration i'm writing units here together with the value just for the clarification so the acceleration will be it will be two so two meter per second square yeah there you go so two meter per second square is the acceleration of both of the masses obviously they are now asking the acceleration for y so our answer will be two meter per second square now what about the tension in the string this is the part number two of the question we want to find tension first of all we must know what is a tension and how do we show the tension in the diagram tension is the force with which the string is pulled the string is pulled like this so the string is getting pulled so why will say that this string is pushing pulling me backwards and this x will say that the string is pulling me in the forward direction according to x the string is pulling in forward direction and according to y the string is pulling in the backward direction so this is how we show the tension so tension force has ambiguous direction it is having a backward direction also as well as the forward direction so this is how we show it so from the point of view of uh, two kgs i can always say that f is equal to m into a now what is the total force that is acting on x so if we draw the free body diagram here this will be 2 kg there is only one force that is acting and that is t this is the mass 2 so t is equal to 2 into the acceleration which we have already found and it is 2 meter per second square so it will be 4 newton so our answer will be a for sure but there is one more thing that I want to show you the, in this question. What, what about this, this mass? If we consider 4 kg instead of 2 kg, what will be the equation and how we are going to solve it? Again, F is equal to M into A. Can you tell me what will be the total force, the net force that will be acting on 4 kg? Won't it be 12 Newton minus T? Because 12 is acting in forward direction and T is acting in backward direction. It will be 12 minus T. Mass will be 4 kg and acceleration will be 2. So I am using this value here again. So on solving this, what am I getting? 12 minus T is equal to 8. So T is equal to 12 minus 8 which is 4 Newton. So the body Y will be saying that Yes, the string is pulling me backward with the force of 4 Newton. And X would be saying that the string is pulling me uh, in front, pulling me forward by the force 4 Newton. So this is how we solve this question. So this is Professor Varun. All the best. Bye.